This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Atlas Engine Ignition, 0, Please. and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying DMSP F-18 with the United States Air Force. This marks the first Atlas V West Coast launch for the United States Air Force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll now be hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data throughout the flight. Have your periscope, Andrew. Fiftieth uh, <laughs> anniversary of Atlas launches on Vandenberg Air Force Base, and we have bottled down to ninety-two percent, right as expected. Approaching four, a little over four G's in acceleration. We are fifty nautical miles in altitude, sixty-nine nautical miles downrange, traveling at sixty-four hundred miles per hour. Everything continues to look good. We're now less than a quarter of the weight at liftoff, starting our 5G throttle segment. Everything is expected there. Bamboo Space Jilldown has been in operation right on time, coming up on main engine cutoff. We have cut off. Everything looking good there. We have stage separation. Good extensiometers. We have pre-start on locks and fuel. Ready to separate the streets have been set and spacecraft separation. Both brake wires indicate nominal spacecraft separation right on our expected timeline. Just over a month ago, the Atlas team and Vandenberg Air Force Base uh, celebrated a very significant and important milestone. September 9th marked the 50th anniversary of the first Atlas launch from Vandenberg.
The historic launch of this Atlas 12D demonstrated America's first operational capable intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM. The Atlas ICBM was designed to carry a 1,500-pound thermonuclear warhead to a target 5,500 nautical miles downrange. By the time it became operational, Atlas had demonstrated a range of 9,000 miles. Today's launch marks another important milestone, the 600th Atlas launch. On June 11, 1957, Atlas 4A lifted off from Launch Complex 14 at Cape Canaveral. Standing 82.5 feet tall and 10 feet wide, the Atlas was the largest missile the free world had ever seen. Since that first launch, Atlas has gone on to achieve some of our nation's most significant and important accomplishments in space. John Glenn made America's first trip to orbit aboard an Atlas rocket. Mariner 2, the world's first successful interplanetary spacecraft, began its journey on an Atlas. And it was an Atlas that sent the first U.S. probe to soft land on the moon. Today's Atlas V, the new generation of Atlas launch vehicles, is continuing the Atlas legacy of supporting our nation's most important space goals. Launching commercial, NASA science and exploration and DOD missions since its inaugural launch in 2002, today's Atlas continues to provide mission success one launch at a time.